They moved there last year. They didn't want to move to Florida, but they're in their 60s, and that's the law. You know how it works. They got the leisure police. They pull up in front of the old people's house with a golf cart. Jump out. Let's go, Bob. White belt, white pants, white shoes. Get in the back. Drop the snow shovel right there. Drop it. I am not much for the family gathering. You know, the conversation is so boring. It's so dull. And you start to fantasize. You know, you think, what if I just got up and jumped out that window? I'm like, you know, just crashed right through the glass, you know. And I come back in, this broken glass, everybody's all upset. No, I'm all right. I was just a little bored there. And, uh, no, I'm fine. I came back. I wanted to hear a little more about that Hummel collection, Ambrose. Let's pick it up right there. <laughs> Knows we needed new clients, you wanted at the right price. That'd be... You have so many nice jackets. I don't know why you had to bring this jacket. Who wears a jacket like this? What's wrong with that nice gray one? You have beautiful clothes that sit in your closet. Boy, you can't wear this. Are you getting that? I went to work for Harry Fleming. And I came up with the idea for the beltless trench coat. <laughs> Jerry, look at this sport jacket. Is this a jacket to wear to an anniversary party? Well, the man's an individualist. He worked for Harry Fleming. He knows what he's doing. But it's their 50th anniversary. Your mother doesn't like my taste in clothing. You know, I spoke to Manny and Isaac on the phone today. They invited you again. I think you should go. First of all, I made plans with Elaine. So bring her. I don't even know them. What is she, a second cousin? I mean, I've met them three times in my life. I don't know her either. She made me fly all the way from Florida for this, and then she criticizes my jacket. <laughs>